Hello, and thank you for listening to the Complex Instant Review. Uh, let's take a look at a cardiothoracic surgery problem. Currently accepted indications for insertion of a permanent cardiac pacemaker include which of the following? Is it A, uh, sinus sick syndrome with symptomatic bradycardic episodes? And that's one of the indications. Or is it Mobitz type 2 AV block? Or is it carotid sinus massage? Or finally, symptomatic bifascicular or trifascicular block. So really, the question is testing um, your knowledge of the indications of putting in a pacemaker. The answer here is all of the above, um, and let's go over why. Um, during the early years of the pacemaker insertion, the chief indication for insertion was mainly a complete AV block associated with, say, presyncope or near syncope. However, recently more permanent pacemakers have been inserted for the treatment of sinus 6 syndrome, and currently accepted indications for pacemaker insertion include a complete AV block with syncope or presyncope, congestive heart failure, um, ventricular tachycardia, heart, rate, heart rates less than 40 or asystole greater than 3 seconds, cerebral hypoperfusion, second degree AV block with symptoms, acute MI with persistent second degree AV block or complete AV block, chronic bifascicular or trifascicular block with symptomatic intermittent complete or second degree AV block, sinus bradycardia or sinus pauses with symptoms, hypertensive carotid sinus syndrome with recurrent syncope, atrial fibrillation with slow ventricular rate and symptoms. All of these are indications for putting in a pacemaker into the patient. And again, thank you for listening to the Comlex podcast and good luck in your preparation for the boards.